Hey guys, it's Charlotte, and today I thought I would talk to you guys about the time I went to South Africa. So I've travelled quite a bit, um, especially with my parents. They've I've always been lucky enough to always travel a lot during like the holidays and stuff. So I've been to a bunch of different countries. Also, I'm half Australian, so I get to go to Australia every couple years, which is always so much fun. And I'm always so half French, so I go to France all the time. So I travel quite a bit. Um, I've been to quite a few different countries but the country that kind of spoke to me the most and that I feel like I'll always remember this trip is when I went to South Africa. So I went to South Africa when I was really young, I believe I was 7 years old or something, uh, that's like what, almost 10 years ago, crazy but I still remember it so vividly. Um, so we went over there for Christmas one year, uh, my mother took my brother and I and we decided to, my mum wanted us to kind of know what it was like um, outside of our kind of bubble um, and know how like some people in the world lived so basically we stayed in South Africa for three weeks we went to a bunch of different um, kind of res not really hotels but yeah kind of um, where we got to meet a variety of different people and we ended up staying one week in a Zulu village um, which is basically villages in Africa um, where they speak Zulu and you live in kind of huts and we were really immersed in the whole South African kind of lifestyle and it was really really amazing um, so we, we stayed in these kind of huts that were made of straw and stuff it was really cool these little beds that were very uncomfortable but it was you know we were really living um, like some people in Africa would live we I remember I had like those braids in my hair, like a hundred and something braids in my hair or something and we were really like immersed in the culture and I loved it, we wore like African kind of outfits and stuff um, we would play, my brother and I would play with the other kids but they couldn't speak English and we obviously couldn't speak Zulu so it was really hard to communicate with them but we still played and we like kind of communicated with each other's names, we learned each other's names and stuff and we would just play with them and it was just so much fun, it was so nice, so sweet, everyone was there was really nice and in the evenings they had their kind of traditional like dances and music and like around a campfire and stuff so we took part in that and it was just really really amazing also right before leaving since it was Christmas my mum had brought you know Christmas presents to give us on the day and stuff and at the end of the trip we decided to um, give all our Christmas presents to the um, kids that lived in the Zulu village because obviously they didn't get any Christmas presents because they couldn't afford it um, so we gave them all our Christmas presents and we also left a bunch of our clothes um, for them um, because once again they couldn't really afford any clothes uh, they would walk around barefoot all the time and so that's when my m mother really like got us to understand that we were very fortunate and very lucky and privileged to live the way we, we lived and I think that was just an incredible experience and even if I didn't realise how thought provoking it was back in the like back then, I realise it now and you know it really like I'm about 17 now, I'm gonna turn 17 very soon and I still remember it and look back on it and stuff. That's it for me. I'd love to know in the comments if you've travelled to any places and it's really made you think about certain things and what's the favourite place you've ever travelled to because um, yeah I'd love to know and uh, yeah I'll see you next week. Bye!